Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. I have to tell you guys something crazy that happened last night. First of all, the heat wave is gone and it's cold enough for sweaters today. But the crazy thing that happened last night was that I took some treats, those treats that I made, into the field to bring the horses in. As soon as Penny and Storm saw them, poof, they ran to me. Storm, Penny, and Gracie, all the three that are the hardest to bring in, ran to me. Those things are worth their weight in gold. I'm gonna make some more of this weekend. Sam left. Sam took Sophie to her riding lesson. She still rides at the Pasofino farm. So they're gone there. And Gabby and I are gonna do our own thing today. But before we do, we have to put the horses in. She said that if I just open the gate, Chino will go in. I don't know if that's really true. I don't think that's true. <laughs> Come on, Chino. Come on. Oh, it is true. Uh-oh, he's like, get those dogs out of my way. So we put Chino and Storm in their stalls. Get in there. Good boy. We put them in their stalls for the through the heat of the afternoon and it's because our mares are easy keepers and they don't need as much food. I don't want them getting super chubby. And our boys are the opposite of easy keepers and they need more food. It's the one way we have figured out to manage all of our horses weight. So we put the ones that need weight in a spot where they can eat longer and we put the ones that don't need weight in a spot where they can take a break from eating. But everybody's getting one of these. <laughs> these are my dogs. Ruby is technically Sam's dog, but she's obsessed with me, lays with me, sleeps with me. Okay, she doesn't sleep with me, but she sleeps beside me on the floor. Typically, we all get our own horses out of the field, but since so Gabby and I are the only ones home, we're gonna be bringing all of them. Okay. Maybe they need a bucket. Come on! I see. I see movement. Come on! Come on! It's working, look at Penny! She's like, Storm better not get my treats. <laughs> Come on, see, they like them. Uh-oh, but this is where things could get scary because they don't like Storm. The three! I don't know if you're safe in here. <laughs> they love them. Oh, I got a whole crew. Here, baby. Good girl. Even the baby is running. All right, now I got them all here. Help. <laughs> all right, I have to give, wait, one to the baby. Look at how much they love them. All right, so the problem is that Gabby's not here to help me, so I got myself surrounded by horses. And I'm not a chicken around horses, but let me tell you, I'm a chicken around horses and food. Oh, I got one horse in myself. I've never brought five horses in all on my own before. I'm doing it though. Oh no. This is not good. Whoopsie. Uh-oh, where's Gracie? I needed you, Gabby. Here. Listen, that's not good. You're not supposed to come under. Don't you come underneath that fence. I'm supposed to. Uh, so I didn't put the gate up all the way. Oh, look at it. They're all so excited. I got them all here. Here, you want a treat? You want some? I'm gonna call them horse magic. I've changed the name. I make horse magic. I make... Oh. I'm taking the minis in together. You hold Willow for a minute. And then we can take Gracie and Storm. Okay. Well, I brought one already by myself. Like, just standing there in the field, relaxing, waiting for you. And you took so long, I just was like, I'll just take them out myself. <laughs> yeah, he says she could do it without the mini getting free. I'm just joking. <laughs> What's about to be my bands? The only reason it gets dicey is because Storm gets like bossy when there's treats around and he starts pushing the girls around. So if I'm like standing in a group of horses, no, he hasn't gone and them. 
Well, they they run from him though, and if I'm standing in front of them, here I'll take her. I'm taking both of them. You catch the other two. Okay, I'll catch the other two. I'm obviously the the the, the one that has like the skills to bring the others. Oh my gosh, why do I always get the bad job? Oh. Whoa, hi handsome. You ready to roll? I got a treat for you. There you go. I just want to point out that Gabby's horses are the more are the most orner ornery. I'm not gonna say what? Oh. I'm not gonna say worst behaved, because that probably isn't accurate, but they're the brattiest. Gabby says that her horses are best behaved like under saddle and with people, and that's probably true. But her horses are the worst behaved like with other horses, both of them. And there we did it. Five horses, well six horses technically. I did almost all of them myself. Oops, sorry. I did four of them myself. You guys can chill out. Have a rest. <laughs> Ellie took care of herself that whole time. Bye. Bye. They don't even need fans today. Typically we come down in about two hours after they've had a good meal and let the boys back in with the girls. And then a couple hours after that, we bring them all back out to the field. I know it's like rocket science to some people because it's a lot. It seems like a lot of energy and it is a lot of energy, but I don't know how to manage our herd. They all have different needs. Like they all have different body types. They all need more or less or so it's just the best way that we figured out to meet everybody's needs and keep everybody happy and healthy. Honest to God though, you guys have seen so many times we've called those horses, we've brought treat buckets, we bought, we've brought grain, we've brought like, we've done everything to get our horses to come in from the field and they don't come, especially Penny. The others might storm, okay, I'm not gonna lie, he probably does come to Gabby often, but no other horse ever in the history of our life. Like five years of having horses and I can never Chino. get them. The Chino always Chino comes to always. Gabby, yeah. Okay, but for the most part. I got these horses. Do you horse have even enough gas to get us there? Do I have enough gas? Should we switch to your car? All right, we've changed, we changed cars. <laughs> Sam's the one in our family that keeps track of all the gas in the cars and my van has no gas. Here I am spreading around on the internet how amazing my horse treats are. I got the recipe from somebody else. I have to tell her we have to market these suckers because they are like true horse magic. Right, so Gabby and I are at a horse show. Our friend Shay, oh, you should move up. Our friend Shay is showing today. We're not showing, sadly. Next time, the next show we are showing. But anyway, we're our, we are at the horse show. I brought a bunch of halters for Shay because she likes to get a new halter for every horse that she rides. And she's gonna be riding the horse that Gabby rides in lessons. So I brought some for her to try because we're down we're we're clearing out our barn trying to like declutter stuff. So I brought a bunch of halters for her to try. And we're gonna go and watch her ride. It's gonna be so fun. I love a horse show. It is backed up along the road there. I don't know if you guys can see so well, far. I found a good spot. Though. Gabby got us a good parking spot though. So Literally, the only downside is we have to the, cross the road. Yeah, we're here and we literally just have to walk in that behind that last car there. Sophie's so jealous, she wanted to come, but she had lessons, so she couldn't come. Sam might bring her, I don't know. She said she was gonna ask him to bring her, so we'll see if they show up. Okay, so we're at the show and we're with um, the girl that used to ride Storm, and she has this bag, and I love it. So she's gonna give us a little, little tour of her bag. I just have treats and carrots for this. Treats and carrots. I don't know what this is called exactly. Curry comb. Curry Actually, comb? it's not called a curry comb. It's Sorry. called a, uh, I forget, but we have a bunch of those too. Just so I keep my phone in here. But look how cute it is. So you put your like face brush and your hoof picks up here. Yep. And then you have spray. Is this Shoshin? Uh, no oh, idea. it's almost the same. It's Herbicote. I've never heard of it before, but it's probably the same as Shoshin. Do you spray it to make them shiny for the show? No, it's fly spray. Oh, is it fly spray? But it also works for... Mm, so that's for fly spray. And then a soft body brush. Soft body brush. And then that's... What are these things called again? I forgot. Magic brushes. Magic brushes, I yeah. I have three of them in here. Three. But look at how much space she has in here. 
And I'd still keep my hoodie down here for winters. What is it? A hoodie for winter. Oh, is it the one that goes over your helmet? No, just like a normal hoodie for the winter. I did take it out though. So she's got all these brushes and then she has this little bag in the front that she can put like money and stuff. But I like how it closes. And I love the handle because you can hang that on a stall, right? Yeah, that's what it's for. It's super cute. Anyway, you might see these in my girl's Christmas presents this year because I really like it. Okay, so I brought all these halters for Shay, but then I ran into the little girl that rides Storm, that used to ride Storm, and then I gave her one. <laughs> I've literally been hanging out with all the little kids. They are like, so adorable. I love, and they haven't jumped yet, so the, all the group that rode Storm, like this one little girl and her group that rode Storm, when he was here, they've moved up to 18 inches, and I love watching them, so they haven't even gone yet, so I'm gonna get to watch them. We've been playing with this duck all day. Well, I've been getting all the hay done in the field today while Laura's away and she's gonna be mad at me because she says it's gonna rain <laughs> all week, but it only takes three days to get the hay. So tomorrow I'll be raking it twice. Monday I'll rake it and then bale it in the afternoon. Anyways, so there's the hay. Nice fluffy hay. A lot of it too. Did the whole field. And I got my baler up there. I've been greasing up getting that ready. So that's what I did all day. I've been getting all the uh, equipment out and I greased up all the stuff ready to, to do it. Grease it up before I actually cut the hay. And this is my antique hay rake, and it works really, really good. This is actually an old <laughs> horse-drawn hay rake. And it works really, really good. I guess there's supposed to be a seat somewhere up here, but it's it's not on. You know, it should be put a seat on there, and, you know, Gabby or Sophie can sit on there and go for a ride while I'm raking the hay. But anyways, yeah, it's got these levers. You put down and uh, makes it go. And the lever there to uh, make it go. This is an old horse-drawn hay rake with some little new modifications. Like the wheels in the back are the new modifications. Simple design and works well. So that's what I'll be doing for the next couple of days, getting the hay done. Alright, it's been uh, the whole day. We spent the whole day at the horse show. The whole day. But I loved it. It was fun. Did you have fun? Mm -hmm. It was fun. We stayed to the very end. Actually, there's one last division. We didn't watch that, but it was fun. We saw a lot of people get sunburned. We did not get sunburned. <laughs> I don't think I did. No, we didn't get sunburned at all. But we're headed home now. I cannot do, I cannot vlog and put my seatbelt on at the same time. I did not get sunburned. We are headed home okay. to see what kind of trouble Sam and Sophie got into. I'm really missing shows. I'm like, already we missed two shows we've already been to two and we didn't show in them but we will be showing in the next show and um, we have lots of plans for the next show like it's gonna be a busy show for us don't you know that you're beautiful